Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, so today what I'm going to talk to you about is um, my trip on my first conference as a PhD student. I've got some little clips, um, some of them are stock images like this one of the tube. Um, most of them are pictures that I took or little videos that I took which you'll be able to tell by how shaky they are. But what I wanted to talk to you about was my experiences, what it was like at my first conference and how what did people talk about when they were there? So I went to a conference in Sheffield which wasn't for a specific discipline but for you know engineers, chemists, physicists, all who happened to be working on a similar topic um, which was liquids quite broad. So there was lots of different people, some people working on foam, some people were working on liquid gas interfaces and yeah it was in Sheffield, I have put the little map up in case anyone wasn't sure where that is. Um, so it was four days um, and what that comprised of was talks, workshops um, and every day they provided lunch for us which was quite nice and one of the days there was a dinner and I've got some photos of that later. Oh that, that building was really cool, I like the boxes, I think it's a car park or something like that but I found it really cool to look out. So in the evenings we'd all go out to dinner for um, kind of organised by ourselves, uh, that's one of the meals we had and it was really nice getting to know people who had very different backgrounds, a lot of international um, people who had done their studies abroad and then come over. So I put this in because there was a fight that had broke out outside my hotel room. Um, so th oh, these little teenagers came up and they were talking big talk and then they were stood about two meters apart when they, you know, eventually we started throwing fists. Uh, they all backed off from each other eventually, um, but that was quite fun to watch. Really set the Sheffield mood. But yeah, so a lot of tea was drank, so we would have a cup of tea, then we would, you know, go and watch a talk, clap clap clap, then uh, some questions or whatever, talking amongst ourselves, then more tea, then another talk or a workshop. So workshops were kind of, there were problem sheets or you know opportunities to ask questions. Unfortunately a few of the speakers had COVID so we had to either do it on Zoom or they were cancelled. Uh, this is the view from the balcony at where the conference was held, it was really cool. Then we went out for um, another evening meal in a little group uh, which was really nice, really tasty. One of the nice things about going to conferences as a PhD student is you do get to um, claim the expenses. So I ate quite well, very full at the end of that week. Uh, so this is some footage from the museum that I was mentioning. So the Steel Museum is about the history of Sheffield and steel was a massive industry there. This Stanley knife thing, they kept adding five blades to it, I think every year until the year 2000. So there's something, something daft like 2000 blades on this. That was an old map of Sheffield. These, it doesn't show in the picture, but that um, big spanner is over a meter long. In this little cabinet, it looks like they could be tiny, but it was a massive spanner and equally massive scissors. Then we went to another museum, um, just informally, and this was also kind of, there was some more artsy stuff and a load of the steel work. I really like these little metal, um, they almost look like molecules. I found them really cool. Then we went to the conference dinner, um, which was at kind of a fancy Italian place, although we were kind of in, um, so there were quite a few of us, maybe 20 plus, that was dessert, I don't know why I made it spin, but uh, we went to this nice Italian place, but we were in like the out, like a greenhouse attached to the side of the building, so everything was like red from the heaters because it was December and cold. And then we had the final lunch on the final day and all got our respective trains home. So I didn't really talk much about the conference itself in this video because it, it will vary depending on what your discipline and every talk will be different. But what I was interesting to find out was there wasn't any massive difference between, you know, sitting in an undergraduate lecture or sitting in an open lecture and attending this, this particular style of conference at least. Obviously there was a really lovely vibe from everyone I spoke to and it was a nice place to, you know, swap ideas and 
get into the practice of talking about your research um, quite quickly. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you're interested in more stuff like this, like and subscribe. I do have other stuff about, you know, actually getting PhDs on my channel. But I hope you enjoy. Um, goodbye.